Ready? Can I say good morning or yeah. hello? I look like a crazy person. Today we're gonna do a questions for Carly. Workout edition. I tweeted out, ask me whatever you want, and you guys asked me some pretty interesting questions. I called in my good friend and trainer, Miss Dara Hart, to help me out. Hi, girl. Hi. My little but <laughs> mighty uh, friend here, Dara. There we go, it's better. Dara, what are we gonna do today? Today, we're gonna do a full body workout with no equipment you can do anywhere. To make sure I get enough reps in, I'm gonna have Dara ask me the questions, and I have to answer them while doing the workout, and I can't stop doing the workout until I finish answering them. Okay, so we'll do a quick 30 second warm up of jumping jacks. You know the drill. Straight arms, box starts in three, two, one. Do you have a workout playlist? I do. I have a Spotify playlist for workouts. Oh my gosh, I need to talk faster and answer these questions faster. I also love to listen to audiobooks and podcasts. Okay, and Divya asked if you had to choose one between doing yoga or gym for the rest of your life, what would you choose and why? If I had to choose just one, I might actually choose yoga. I really love yoga and I think it can be both meditative, relaxing, and high intensity. Whew. I need to talk faster. <laughs> Next exercise is a windmill. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, twist. Next question is late night or early morning workouts? The moment I wake up. Easy. I love early morning workouts, especially like first thing in the morning when I'm training for the marathon and running long distances. That's when I love to do night runs, especially in the summer when it's way too hot during the day. How do you stay fit while traveling and how do you manage to eat healthy food? I think it's a matter of just being disciplined in, in your head and being consistent with your workouts, even if you are on the road and you don't necessarily have a gym. I think it's about finding things that you can do no matter where you are, like this workout. Being healthy with food choices can be really challenging when I'm traveling. The options can be different. You have to be kind to yourself. And if your body is exhausted from traveling, give yourself a day off, sleep in. I think it's a matter of balance. Does that make sense? <laughs> I feel like my blood is rushing to my head. All right, our next warm up exercise is a bird dog. Reach the right arm and left leg and hold and then switch. Next question. What advice do you have for someone who's training for a marathon? Get a friend involved to do it with you. Yeah. Sorry, I'm cheating. I'm not doing the workout. <laughs> You're gonna spend many hours over the next months uh, training for your 26 mile run. I feel like I've got a puke. And it's way more fun to do it with someone that you enjoy spending time with. That's it, last one. Our warm up is done. Yes! Let's get to work. I'm already sweating. <laughs> okay, our first exercise is a bound into a jack squat. You'll start by swinging your arms up, coming high to your tippy toes. Shoot your arms back, jump as far forward as you can. What's the weirdest spot you've ever done a workout? Um, oh, I can't multitask. <laughs> okay, I don't know about weirdest, but most scenic place I've ever done a boxing workout is Sydney Harbor. I could not picture a more beautiful place to work out. Our next exercise are speed skaters. So you'll step and bend like a curtsy, and then you'll alternate to the other side. And our next question is, what's your favorite outfit to work out in? My favorite outfit to work out in is, I love like a high support bra like this. We are both wearing pieces from the new Statement Collection. The Adidas campaign just launched. They're super cute, they're super comfortable. I love to wear things that are functional and chic so I can wear it from my workout to a meeting. Next question. Girl, hurry up. <laughs> can you change your outfit in less than a minute? Is that a challenge? Timer, go. <laughs> okay. How'd I do? One minute? You made it! Okay, good, close enough. Okay, next exercise is mountain climbers. So find oh. a plank on hands and knees. These are so fun. Shoulders will be over your hands. So our next question is, what's your favorite thing to eat or drink after a workout session? A nice protein smoothie. I love a vegan protein powder. I love Carly's cookies. Ooh! <laughs> That's a good answer. Okay, let's pick it up. Double time. Oh, there I'm gonna kill you! 
What do you eat on your cheat day? A little bit of dark chocolate every day. Every day is a cheat day. <laughs> so our next exercise is a push-up into a shoulder tap. You'll find a plank, push-up, into a tap, tap. And if you're like me and prefer to do a modified push-up, it goes like this. Have you ever heard of goat yoga? I've never heard I've of it. I've never done it, but I've heard of it. What is goat yoga? I honestly, you'll have to ask Twitter. <laughs> if it is literally just yoga with goats, so why not? The other models are really lazy. She's falling asleep on set. I'm gonna call her agent. What's an acceptable age for young girls to start working out? I've always loved playing sports. I'm pausing to, to talk. I can't talk into it. As early as I started walking, I was playing soccer and playing sports and always playing games with my sisters. Actually working out with a trainer, I'd say the first time I really did that was when I met you. I don't know. <laughs> What do you think? I feel like as long as you're outside moving your body, you can start at any age. I agree. Okay, let's hit up a forearm plank. Push away from the floor so you lift up and out of your shoulders. Hardest thing physically you've ever done? It might be this workout video while doing questions for Carly. <laughs> right now. Okay, so next we're gonna do a lifted reach. You'll lift up, one, two, and down. Emily asked, would you rather work out alone or with your best friends? Definitely best friends. Michael asked, what would you suggest as some regressive exercises for someone with knee pain when they squat? Or what assessment should they do to see? This is definitely a question for a doctor. <laughs> this is our last exercise. We'll start on your back. Bring your legs together and up to about 60 degrees. Do you think the apps that can be installed are valid or the gym is the only proper way to work out? I think you can definitely do a workout anywhere you are with a great app or with just a great circuit of exercises like this. What are some good exercises to do without equipment? Uh, this. <laughs> Three, two, done. Whew. Oh my goodness, Dara. I am so regretting inviting you to my questions for Carly. <laughs> This is actually a very effective workout. Now, please tell me it's time for cool down. Yes. I like your questions. I just am not good at answering them while oh, doing this. Okay. <laughs> so just hug your knees to your chest. Liz asked you, can you say something motivational so I can print it out as motivation to work out? Oh, wow. No pressure. Um, something motivational. Liz, do something today that your body will thank you for tomorrow. Lily Singh asked. Oh, Lily Singh? I love you, Lily Singh. How can one work out while simultaneously eating pizza? Great question, Lily. I'm so glad you asked. All you really have to do is um, order pizza and <laughs> sit on, on a yoga mat. Thanks, Gina. <laughs> Exhibit A, take a slice of pizza. Exhibit B, sit in a pretend yoga pose and proceed to eat pizza. Thanks, Lily. That is a wrap on our killer workout and questions for Carly. Thank you guys for watching and thank you, Dara.